Well, I finally did it. I kickstarted something. That that's not what I meant. No, no. Actually, to say I kickstarted something is incorrect. I contributed to a Kickstarter campaign. Three, actually. It's all the fault of one of my friends on Facebook. Thanks, Darcy. I say fault, but thank you. He posted a link for a Kickstarter campaign for a mini Euro game called Province. And the timing was perfect because it was just after I had gone to my first, or maybe it was my second, Fukuoka board games meetup to have, you know, 12 hours of board games fun, which I can never stay the full 12 hours. So it was perfect because it was a brand new game no one else has, and it was cheap, like seven bucks. Well, 10 for me because international shipping. It was a cool design, which I like. It was cheap, which the Dutch blood in me likes. And so I backed my first Kickstarter campaign. And I can't actually remember which one was my second. One I found from scrolling through all of the Kickstarter campaigns for board games, and the other one I found because of another link on Facebook from Patrick Rothfuss. So I supported them, and they started arriving. First to arrive was the first one I backed. And when I say mini, I mean mini. Wait, that's not the whole game. That's the rule book. It came in one envelope and doesn't want to come out. There's the game board. There's all the pieces. I still haven't separated them. Oops, I just separated them from my first piece. Since I got it, I haven't had a chance to actually go play it, so I haven't bothered taking it apart yet. And my kids are still too small for this. It's a very simple mini two-person Euro game, and it looked like so much fun, and it was so cheap I had to back it. So I'm happy to get that, but I'm really, really, really dying to try it out. I think the link on Facebook from Patrick Rothfuss was next, and that was for a new classic pub game. It's a card game called Pairs. Thing is, I went a little overboard and got five decks. Really only need one. You know, I got the basic fruit deck, so I could play it with my kids. But then people just kept blowing past all the stretch goals and they unlocked a whole bunch of different decks, including two extra Name of the Wind decks. Besides the fruit deck, I always was going to get the Name of the Wind Commonwealth deck, but then the Name of the Wind Fan deck and Mordigan decks were also unlocked and I had to get those. And then the Girl Genius deck got unlocked and how could I not get that? Luckily, I was able to resist buying any other decks, but buying five decks did get me at a high enough reward level to get a Pairs Commemorative coin, which I don't really know why I wanted. But I wanted it and now I have it. Hmm. The Pairs decks were the last thing to arrive just came a couple days ago. I haven't actually opened them yet to check that all the decks are correct, but I really have to do that. I'm gonna do that after this, or maybe after I edit. And I think the third one I backed and the second one to arrive was Shipwrights of the North Sea. This just looked so good. The artwork is so beautiful and the playability just looks like it's, it's well, really playable. Again, I haven't played it yet. I have not gone back to a games day since my third time. And that was a few months ago. I really have to go back. Oh. I really gotta hold this right way up, sorry about that. Shipwrights of the North Sea by Garp Hill Games out of New Zealand. That's why I held it upside down. The back of the box and the front of the box are not lined up. That's just my fault, I put it back together wrong. So I mean, I'm really looking forward to going to another games day at some point and trying this out. So really, I have to thank all of you for these new games because I used money earned on YouTube to order them. Thank you very much. Now I must go find some more games to kickstart.